Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Jeep Wagoneer. And we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front grille. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material that way it matches the color of the middle section of the front grille. And it also gives it a more sportier look. If you like the product, link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before you start with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So all you need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in the spray bottle. And once you have your solution ready, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and make sure you remove all the contaminants that the panel may have. And we also recommend to have a clean and dry panel. That way the adhesive on the film is able to tack down to the panel because there's still some areas where it's wet. The film will not stick to the panel even if you apply heat. So make sure everything's completely dry and clean before doing the installation. And we gotta open the hood for this one. Okay, so we're going to start with the top piece. So with this one, align it from one end and just help the film by placing it and aligning it until you reach it to the other edge. So just like this. And now we would use our squeegee to squeegee out the air and just helping it tack down to the panel. So just squeegee, make sure to be careful not to crease the film. If you can, squeegee at an angle. And then all this excess material will get trimmed off. But before we trim it off, just make sure we tack everything down. So also tack down this middle section here. So with this one, it just covers up to the bottom edge because everything else will get trimmed off. And then we could help it here by applying heat in order to prevent the film from wrinkling. So apply heat just a little bit and then tack it down with your squeegee. Let the film cool down, squeegee at an angle and just lift it to apply heat one more time. This is just to release the tension on the film. That way it's easier to tack down. And then do the same on the other side. And now just apply heat on the entire panel and then we'll trim off the excess material afterwards. And now trim. So now for the next piece that covers this section, I would recommend starting from the curved area here and just work your way on installing the rest like this. Just make sure you have enough material to cover everything. And then here, just start here, tack everything down and all this excess material that we have, we can trim it off. That way it fits around the curve here. So just align it, place it, keep it aligned, place it, and then tack it down and trim. So apply heat to place the film. Hold it in position, grab your squeegee, and take it down. Go at an angle that way you don't accidentally increase the film. And now trim off the ice material here. So you could pull the film down just a little bit, grab your squeegee, and tuck in as much as you can before you trim off the excess material. So like this, find the small gap, and then trim it off. Just as long as you're covering all of the chrome, you should be fine. Just lift it, apply heat to release the tension, and help the film form back to its original form, and then take it down. And now there should be no creases here. It's all flat. And now this piece, make sure you're covering the chrome, and the rest will be trimmed off. Just like that. And then trim off the excess material on top, small gap. And then trim off here as well. So be careful, align it, and trim off. And just be careful not to lift the other film here. So do it from this edge, and now you're good. And now just apply heat to help tack down the film to secure it, and then we'll move on to the other section, which is this curve here. So for the piece of the curve here, align it where you left off, and make sure you're covering the chrome here. So it should be right there. Follow the design and you should make it up to the edge here. And if you need to lift it, readjust it, you can. Just be careful if you do realign it. Place the film down 
and just apply heat to help protect down around the curve. So apply a good amount of heat, that way you help release the tension on the film, and slowly, little by little, help it form on the curve. Then you can use your squeegee as well to help it tack down. So let the film cool down and then use your squeegee to tack it down. And just work your way to the rest of the panel until you reach it here. And then we'll trim off the excess material that we don't need. Okay, now trim. And apply heat one more time to secure it around the edges that we trim. And then you move on with the next piece once you finish trimming everything off. And trim off here as well. And then apply heat and then we're done. Now we move on to the next piece. Okay, next piece, align it on the curve and just make sure you're covering everything. So like this, if you need to readjust it, you can. Just make sure to remove any fingers. So here, there's a small finger. To remove the finger, apply heat. Let the film cool down just a little bit. And then with your finger, help it tack down. And you just rinse and repeat until you remove the small finger. So it should be like this, and then just seal the top edges, and then we can move on with the next pieces. So for this top piece here, just align it right where we left off with this edge, and just make sure the design of the panel is being covered, so just follow it until you reach it to this bottom edge here, and then this material will get trimmed off, so it's fine if there's fingers. Just make sure this part does not have fingers, so just apply heat to release the tension, and then tack it down. And just do the same with the rest, apply heat, and then tack it down to the curve. And then trim off X and two. And then trim off here as well. And then apply heat to seal all the edges that were lifted. And then we move on to the last piece for this section here. So to finish it off, just make sure this whole section is covered. So align it on the edge and place it down. If you need to readjust it, you can, but just make sure everything's being covered. Cover the edge here and work your way to the rest of the panel here. And just apply heat, that way the film is able to tack down. Grab your squeegee, tack it down, and then the excess material that we do have will get trimmed off. And then the next piece that we install here will cover this section here. So there's a gap here. Insert your blade, trim off the excess material. And now this piece. Okay, so when it comes to doing this last piece, just make sure you align it right where the cutout measurement is located. So right there right there, right there, and the rest should just follow to cover here. So just place the film, and then this part, we're going to apply heat in order to help it tack down and stretch it to reach it here. So just place the film, apply heat on each section. So once you place the film on each section and you applied heat, the next thing to do is just making sure this section, you'll help it apply it by applying heat since it does have a small curve. So just help release the tension on the film. That way we're able to just tack it down and apply it to the curve. Let the film cool down and squeegee it down. And then help it tack down around the curve. And keep in mind this film does not cover all the way inside because it is a small gap to work with. So it only covers up to a certain amount. So for each section, just keep that in mind. And just tuck in inside. And then all this will be excess material to trim off. Tack down, tack down, tack down until you reach to the other side. And before we trim, just apply heat one more time to the panel. That way the film is able to tack down to the entire panel and then we'll trim off the excess material. Grab your blade and trim excess material, and then you're done with this piece. 
small gap, insert the plane, and trim. And you're done. And you just rinse and repeat the whole steps that were done for this entire panel to the other side, and then post heat, and you're done. So for this panel, they're all the same. The only different one would be the edge one, but the concept is the same for all when it comes to the installation. So when you do the installation, just grab the film, align it to the edge where it belongs here in the curve, and align it there, and just follow the design of the panel until you reach it on top. And all you need to do is apply heat. That way we help the film tack down around the curved area. So apply heat, let the heat do its job on the film. And then you're slowly, little by little, going to help it tack down. And you do the same for the other piece right here. And any excess material that you do have around the edges, you would just trim them off. So there's a small gap in the panel right here. So just find that gap first, and then you trim off the extra material. So create the outline to find the path, and you would go from there. Pick it out, and remove the excess material. And you just do the same for the entire panel. Find that outline, so you can create the small outline like this, and then trim off the excess material. And you just go all around and once you're done, apply heat to tack down the film and you're done. So once you finish with the whole installation, the last thing to do is to grab your heat gun and pulse heat the entire panel. So just make sure you go all over each section of the panel you worked on. So apply heat here, the middle, the top edges, and on the side. And then take your time doing it. Make sure you apply heat all over the panel. And then once you're done post heating, you'll be done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2022 Jeep Wagoneer. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.